Hi, I am Dr. Damian Goldbar, and today I am going to be talking about feedback. Most of the time when we hear about the word feedback, we associate it with a negative connotation. It's like providing information to people about something that will make them feel uncomfortable. And many times people avoid providing feedback because they are afraid that they are going to make other people or themselves be uncomfortable. Now, feedback can be seen as a dialogue instead of a monologue. If we see feedback as an opportunity to provide information to other people about their behaviors and their consequences, we may relate to feedback in a different way. What would happen if we consider feedback a gift instead of a critique? To do that, I like to follow a model with four letters called BEST, B-E-S-T. B is focused on behaviors. When we provide feedback, we want to focus on what people have done or said. The most specific, the better. E is for effect or consequences. What are the consequences of their behaviors in themselves or other people? S is to stop and solicit input. Is to have a dialogue and hear from other people what are their perspectives about what's going on or to explore what may have caused these behaviors. And finally, the T for best is about taking action and it's about agreeing and negotiating what will be the next steps to follow. Based on this conversation and based on these behaviors, what are the best courses of actions that will help the person to be more effective and accomplish whatever goals they may have? So I want to emphasize that feedback should be an experience where people can learn, can be a growth and developmental experience rather than a critique or seeing feedback as a negative experience. So I wanted to invite you to consider next time that you need to provide feedback to embrace this model with these four steps, to focus on behaviors, on their effect, to stop, solicit input and have a dialogue, and finally to together choose what could be the best course of action.